In this Power World video, we go over 10 glitches that still work after the latest patch, which is on Steam, it's patch version 0.1.4.0, and on Xbox, it's patch version 0.1.1.3. Let's go. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ. Before we go any further, I'm giving a couple of copies away of Power World. So, to win one for yourself or a friend who don't own the game yet, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, and make sure you are subbed. Winners will be picked and announced in a couple of days, so good luck everybody. Okay, so I've tried and tested these all morning and can confirm, all still work. So let's get into it guys. First up the dungeon chest glitch. What this glitch is and what it allows you to do is bypass dungeon bosses and grab those high level chests without breaking a sweat. So as a low level player, you may be thinking, you are telling me DPJ, I can go into these higher level areas, these higher level dungeons, go into said dungeons, bypass the boss and grab those chests. Yes guys, that is correct. And some of these chests drop some of the best items in the game. So to do this, I recommend you doing it at night because the dungeon bosses will be asleep. This is what you want if you're low level. Then all you need is a mount. Chill it works best for me. And make sure you can mount that mount. So a saddle is needed, obviously. So go to any dungeon in the game, again if it's at night time most enemies within here will be asleep also. Remember though this wants to be at night time, then make your way to the boss, again you want to make sure the boss is asleep. Now guys as you probably know there is a like barrier behind him, behind this barrier, this pathway, there are two chests you can grab. So to bypass this barrier without taking out the boss is quite simple. Throw that mounted pal at said barrier. If you get your angles right, the pal will go straight through that barrier. From here guys, you simply mount the pal. Then you can run up to the chest and grab them. It really is as simple as that. I tested this in a low level dungeon just to make sure it was still working. So I wasn't really bothered about the boss being awake or asleep. But if you do get to a dungeon where that boss does not rest, another trick you can do is to reset the dungeon bosses. You can do this by simply running at a render distance from that boss area, so running back on yourself, then running back to that boss. The boss will have rotated, and you can do this trick guys to change bosses, and an indefinitely amount of times. Now this is a trick you can also use with pals. For instance, if you're looking for a certain pal, if you go out around the distance and come back, 99% of the time, that power will have rotated. This is perfect for the three smaller islands on the map, home to some of the best powers in the game, but do have some rare spawns. Simply rotating these said areas on a mount for efficiency will 99% of the time rotate the wild powers. So use and abuse this if there's a certain power you're looking for. Okay, so moving on to an infinite gold experience bloat where you'll earn roughly 30k upwards every few minutes simple and this can be done at more or less any level too but the more powerful you are the better and quicker it will go obviously so this consists of us taking out the black market tier so head to this point on the map guys this one's always here so this glitch works quite easily go up to him hit him and then speak to him straight away this knocks him out of his fighting animation so he won't attack you and you can repeat this process guys with your wielded weapon until he's taken out or guys you can even use your pal so summon your pal make sure it's unaggressive but every time your pal attacks him you need to stand next to him spamming that talk button to keep knocking him out of that fight animation sometimes this can get a bit buggy but hey it does definitely work i mean sometimes he'll freeze all together as you're seeing on screen now this is a much rarer instance though, uh, but I have experienced it in the past. But once you do take him out guys, you will notice you'll get a massive chunk of those gold coins as well as three gold keys. From here, simply quit out your game, load back in and it will have reappeared for you to do this over and over. You can also use this guys to capture him, so take him down to a low health and then just keep chucking those higher leveled uh, spheres at him. And if you get lucky, you will capture him. From this point guys, you can take him back to your base place him in your base and use him from a vendor from home. Now he does sell those pals and does quite often sell their pals too, but you can also rotate his stock with a simple trick of putting him in your pal box and taking him back out. This will rotate his stock, so pretty cool. Okay, so another amazing glitch which still worked is you being able to capture those tower bosses. 
Okay, so to do this guys, go to your nearest settlement where there are any friendly NPCs or just attack any friendly NPC so you earn yourself that wanted status. Then from here guys, fast travel to said tower boss. You will notice that the NPCs are now chasing you and they will chase you into this tower boss fight. Now what you want to do here guys is you do not want to attack the tower boss. What you want to do is try and come between the tower boss and those NPCs trying to gun you down. Now if they hit each other, the boss 9 times out of 10 will bug out and run and stand into the corner. This is your chance. When this happens guys, go up to him and throw a sphere in his back and make sure it's in his back, not in his front. If you hit him in his front, it can bug this out. So throw that sphere at his back and it should be a 100% capture rate and it really is that easy. Now I know this is hard to pull off with some tower bosses and easier with others, so do keep that in mind. But yes, if it works for you, you now have a tower boss at your disposal who will work the same as any other NPC, but instead will have crazy amounts of HP. So yes, enjoy that one. Okay, so moving on to a couple of PAL Insta Revive tricks. So if your power gets incapacitated, gets knocked out in battle, the normal outcome is for you to throw them in your power box where you have to wait 10 minutes before they can be used again. Well, three tricks here guys to get an instant revival. First up, with that KO'd pal in your party, drop it on the floor. Then fill that party spot with another pal, but make sure your party is full. Then pick up that pal off the floor you just dropped, it will go straight into your power box. In here guys, you now will have noticed the pal is recovered. Simple. Another way you can do this guys is if you have a viewing cage. Simply place that power that's KO'd, incapacitated, in that viewing cage and take it back out. This also cures them. Another way guys is to go to sleep with said pal in your party, but this will only work at night time. Okay, so we're going to move on to the duplication glitch. And yes, people, it still works. Now, if you are unaware of how this works exactly, uh, here's a snippet from an older video, the original video I posted. So do what you got to do to get this one working for you. So how this works is you build something with said required materials. You place the item down, you cancel it, and you double up, you duplicate the materials required to craft it. And this works with literally anything you can place down on the floor. Okay, so to do this guys, you need to have a base, obviously. And then guys, you want to go to the outer edge, the outer edge of your base, which is that blue circle. Now, once you are here, you want to build a storage box on the inside of your base. So it's inside of that blue circle. Then guys, you want to bring up the item you want to build and duplicate and get those materials back for, doubling up on them every single time you do this. And given you have the room, this works with any item you can place down. So this is how this works. You want to place down the item as you walk out of the circle, walk out of your base's barrier. Uh, it's important to also note that the materials to craft the item we are duping must not be in your inventory. They need to be inside of your base in any random container. It doesn't matter. So place the item down inside of your base, inside of that blue circle as you step outside of that blue circle, your base. Because if you step outside of that circle or you try and craft, you'll see the warning of insufficient materials. And the trick here is to time it right where you step out of your base as you place the item down to build. So if you do time this right, you can then cancel the build in which you get the materials back for them. But in actual fact, guys, you never use your own. You never use the required materials in the first place. So therefore, we're just doubling up on said materials required to craft said items. So you are basically doubling up on the materials. Now it will take some good timing on your behalf and you won't do it every single time, not until at least you get the technique down. And as you can see me doing on screen now, it does take good timing. I'm doing it on a funny ledge as my base is more or less completely included. So uh, this is where I had to test this out. But on a flat surface, if you can do that, it will be much, much easier to pull off. Although I wasn't really struggling whatsoever. Okay, so lastly, guys, you have a couple of PC only glitches as far as I'm aware. And first up, we have the infinite egg duplication glitch. So if you are a breeder, you can use this to hatch the same egg over and over or you can use this with wild eggs you find in that open world so if you find that huge dragon egg you can open it infinite amount of times to try and get that one you are chasing pretty cool okay so to do this is only two requirements 
The first one is that you have an egg incubator. And the second requirement is that you have a timeout on the incubation process. I say this because players sometimes playing in their own world will have this setting on zero. So eggs will instantly incubate. We don't want that. We need there to be a timer. That's very important. And this will not work without it. So if I were you guys and you're in your own world, change your setting to a one. So place said egg in that incubator. Wait for the egg to get near complete. Then go inside the incubator. Press and hold your mouse's right click on said egg and then press tab. Obviously still holding that left click. From here guys, wait until the egg incubation is complete. Then place the egg you are holding in a nearby storage box. You will see that you can now open that said egg that's just incubated, but that egg you placed in that storage box is also there. And you can do this guys over and over and over. Okay, so another PC only glitch is an infinite KOA exploit. This is done kind of the same way as the egg duplication glitch, but it only works on single stacks. So for instance, if you have a stack of wood weighing half a ton, you obviously can't move much with it. I know yes, after the latest patch, you can still move slightly, but it will still take you a while to get across your own base. Okay, so to do this with single stacks, simply click and hold that left click of your mouse on said wood or any other item that's overweight and then press that tab button while still holding that left click. You can now move around freely at normal pace and place this in any other storage container. It's quite simple. But again, this is single stacks only. Now the only other effective trick like this on console which helps with being over encumbered is the grapple hook. So if you have this unlocked guys, you can use this to move about transporting multiple items even when you're weighed down. This is always my go to, I won't lie to you. But there we have it guys, 10 plus glitches that still work after the latest patch for both Steam and Xbox. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.